All right, I've been sitting here for a while trying to figure out how to start this video. I don't even know what the purpose of the video is, so I guess as my wife wrote on a blackboard downstairs last week, to begin, begin. And she's got another little inspiring quote on the uh, blackboard downstairs, actually let's go have a look at that. I'll probably drop this on my way down the stairs. This week it says... What would you do if you weren't afraid? You know what, I think I've been afraid of um, getting started. I've been talking about doing some kind of vlog as I destroy the camera going up the stairs. Something... I've been trying to figure out like what to do for a vlog because I've been talking about it for a long time and I just never got to it. Probably because I was scared of putting this online and getting judged. And probably because I didn't think I had anything to say. So some of you may not know who I am or where I've come from. I'm currently sitting in Greater Detroit where I've moved my family and myself for a job from Melbourne in Australia. It's like 13,000 kilometres or something. So in coming here we were meant to be starting a new life. Um, me going back to my old job but trying to do new things and we haven't done a lot of new things yet. We've done a few new things but I think what I want to get out of vlogging is just inspiring myself to do more, to get out and be more. So I guess we'll start now. All right, so in moving halfway across the world, um, I wanted more. I wanted more of something. I wasn't sure what it was. And I decided it was to be more of something or do more. I guess doing more doesn't mean anything because it's just doing things. You can do more of anything and not get that much out of it. I wanted to be more. So there was a few things I wrote down when I knew that I was leaving Australia that, um, that I wanted to be. And it was pretty simple. It was be more active, be more creative, uh, be more productive, and be more satisfied. So I'm not really getting very far with any of that at the moment, but I'm trying to make a start here now. So the first one is be more active. And that's really just about getting out there and I guess exercising more. It's about doing more things. Um, and I guess for me, losing some weight. So the second one there was be more creative. And uh, I guess I've been a creative person on and off for, for a long time. I was always creating things as a kid, trying to just do different things, whether it was a solar powered barbecue or drawing or something like that. So I just, I've always just been creative and, and you know, what I do these days, I mean, just here somewhere. Light painting, that's one thing I really want to do. And it not only is it creative from a photography perspective, but I also made a website around it. I just haven't done anything with it. I just got to do more of that so that I can be more creative. And, and it goes beyond that as well. Um, whether it's photography or making videos or just getting out there and, and ideating, for want of a better word. I've just got to be more creative. The third one was be more productive. And I have this habit of like uh, getting sidetracked, falling down the rabbit hole of YouTube and just watching a whole bunch of rubbish that, that doesn't do anything for me, doesn't produce anything. It just kind of ultimately leaves me with an empty feeling at the end of the day because I haven't done anything or I haven't achieved anything. So it's pretty simple in, in being more creative and being more active. I'm going to be more productive if I just like, I'm always trying to do some of these things. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be productive. So I've got to just take a step back if I'm doing something and say, am I really producing something here? Am I getting something out of this? And sometimes, I'm sometimes gonna to have to have some downtime where I'm not being productive, but I'm not a, not a machine. I can't just keep going over and over again, but um, I'm just not doing enough to be productive these days. And the fourth one was be more satisfied. So I guess in being more creative, being more active and being more productive, I, I think that fourth one should just come naturally from those three things and and maybe I'll modify this as I go maybe it'll be more of something else or or do more or something I don't know we'll see how it goes with these first four 
ultimately, what's life without satisfaction? I mean, you can look at Maslow's hierarchy of need, needs, I should say. It's, uh, I, I guess, you know, I'm short of the self-actualization side of things in a sense. So I just, uh, I just want to just want to be more satisfied with what I'm doing and, and, and achieving. So hopefully this vlog will help me do that and you can follow along and see if I, I achieve it and maybe you can, I don't know, hopefully somebody will give me some encouragement out there to, if I uh, seem to be failing at something. It's all well and fine to, I guess, say that I want to be more, whether it's be more active, be more creative, be more productive, be more satisfied. I can say all those things, but I really got to in that set some goals and it's something I've never been really good at at all is setting goals. A lot of the time things just kind of, I guess, come to me through hard work and I, I achieve things, but they were not necessarily goals, I guess. So I really got to start setting some goals if I actually want to hit that, you know, be more satisfied, hit that self-actualization. So I guess I should start right here and, and, and just look at these, these things that I'm saying around be more and, and set a goal. So I guess in terms of or be more creative. I think this week it's just about getting out there and, and just doing one light painting image. Just get out there and, I mean, I'm going to produce more than one, but, you know, get out there and, and set out to achieve putting one light painting image up on, on my blog and put some stuff up on Flickr. Be more active. I've been a little bit sick, sick lately and, and that's not much of an excuse, but I should just, uh, I should just get out there and do something. Like, when we came here, we, we said we were going to, do something every day and we're, we're heading in towards winter here in Detroit and it's going to be snowing and they're predicting that it might be a pretty bad winter so I've just got to start being more active now um, because I might struggle a little bit with that later but even so that's not an excuse I've got a whole basement downstairs to at least get some exercise in and uh, yeah be more productive it's uh, just getting in out there and doing a couple of those things just whether it's that or whether it's something else that comes to me just draw something write something create something, make a video, whatever. Just be productive in doing that. It's just like, don't stay up till 10.30 watching American football that I'm not even really interested in. That's not gonna help me be productive. So um, I, don't know, I guess we'll try and work on that this week and we'll come back at the end of next week. Maybe I think I'll do this on Mondays or something like that and see where I've gotten to. Have I achieved any of these goals and figure out where to go next. So I guess until maybe a week from now, we'll uh, talk later.